It's meant to be about 31 today and we're also expecting a thunderstorm. I'm a bit bunged up because um, hay fever is really affecting me today. So if I'm more muffled than usual, uh, that's why. With summer fastly approaching, I started working on a platform for the pump and filter that would connect to the water tank, which we hope to use as a plunge pool on hot days. This is the kit, the pump, and the filter that I bought last year. Trying to create some stakes to hammer into the ground. Um, I'm not sure if that's sharp enough really. The soil is quite dry. <coughs> Formwork cut out of these old, I think they're eucalyptus boards, and some stakes cut out of. Um, some cheap pine.
my first concrete slab pour. I am planning to do some in the main house and in the outbuilding, so this is a good test. I'm not planning on using rubble like this, especially the large sizes of rubble in the buildings. I'm only using it because it's outside. Okay. What I've seen people do is go along like this and sort of tamp down the concrete, making it all flat. And what I'm planning on doing is getting a piece of wood, duct taping or somehow fixing a spirit level to it and then just doing it freehand. Probably won't be as easy or as accurate or as quick but I think it'll do the job. Um, and again, this is an experiment to see how it works. Um, so when I do it again, I can improve and then again, improve even more. So today I'm planning on pouring the screed or the concrete uh, for the concrete slab up by the water tank. I've got three bags of cement, a load of sand outside that's left over from the screed on top of the flat roof over here. The first job is to transport the sand up there in a wheelbarrow, lay it down on a polythene sheet, then bring up the cement and then mix it up there. Just realised we've got to move the cars out of the way to get at the sand, to move the sand.
ya. Unfortunately, my camera ran out of battery before I finished it off, but we took some photos on our phones of the slab when it was finished. This video is sponsored by Bressa Instructions. So this is the Meteo Champ HD by Bressa, also known as a weather station. When I worked an office job in London, I didn't really care so much about the weather. I wake up in the morning, if it was raining, I'd wear a raincoat and maybe take an umbrella. And if it wasn't raining, I wouldn't. And that's about as much as I looked at the weather report, the forecast or anything like that. That all changed since moving to Portugal. So much of my life here revolves around the weather. From the house renovation to the daily dog walks, checking the forecast has become part of my daily routine. And that's why I reached out to Bressa who kindly sent me this weather station. I've been using it for the past month and it's worked perfectly allowing me to monitor the indoor and outdoor temperature and humidity, wind speed, direction, as well as many other metrics I don't have time to get into. In this part of Portugal, there are high levels of rainfall and humidity. The weather station allows us to measure these levels and we can manually control them. In the future, I plan to integrate a smart home system that will automatically turn on dehumidifiers and ventilators when humidity levels are high. According to these charts from weatherspark.com, for large parts of the year there is much more rain here than in London. We can also make use of the weather station in the garden by adding Bressa soil moisture sensors. These can be set up to automatically turn on a watering system in the garden when needed. The weather station comes with this monitoring screen which I have placed in the kitchen and an indoor temperature and humidity sensor which is in our bedroom. I don't have a permanent place for the outdoor device, so for the time being it's sitting on top of our flat roof, but I'll figure out a more permanent place to put it soon. You can find more about Bressa and their other products at bressa.de or at Bressa Europe on Facebook, Instagram and YouTube. I'll also leave a link to the product in the description box below. With a concrete platform for the pump and filter curing, I started to build a shed to house all of the gear and protect it from the rain.
The design of this was something that I made up as I went along, but I think it turned out okay. been into town and bought this piece of corrugated plastic Classical Japanese pigsty, in my opinion. <laughs> 